This is a guy that's going in today that was a champion to you, Javon Ringer, right? Yeah, number 23, Javon Ringer. He uh, He's a great one, and uh, I'm excited to be here and plan to be here all along uh, for Javon and his family. Mark, the last time a lot of us talked to you, you were saying you were enjoying retirement, and you certainly yeah, seem to be. Did you ever in your wildest imagination think that you would be back here in a, in a coaching role and coming out of retirement? Uh, no. No, not really. No, I did not. But uh, things happen. Can Why'd you, you say yes, Mark? I'm sorry? Why'd you say yes? Well, you know, I spent 19 years here as a Spartan, and, uh, you know, I've always I've been on contract, a small contract, and always said to Alan, Al, or, you know, whatever you need me to do, anytime I can help, let me know. And he reached out, and uh, so I said, yeah, sure, I'll help you, and, uh, you know, put aside everything for a little bit and, uh, and do this. Have you been around the office this week? Oh, yeah, I was in the office on Monday, so I got in my car and drove over and just trying to sort of indoctrinate myself a little bit into everything that's going on. But I've been very impressed with uh, um, the thoroughness of our coaches and the, the uh, game plan and the structure of everything that's going on and uh, really impressed with what Coach Barnett has done this week, you know, just picking up the pieces a little bit and, uh, and helping move things forward. It's been very, very positive. Great energy from the players. I've been impressed with the players and their outlook on things. And, uh, you know, got to step forward. How much does this mean for you to help Harlan in this? And kind of how do you envision your role? Uh, I envision my role sort of as an ongoing thing, you know, as, as we get, you know, four days in. And, you know, as a coach, you know, terminology and systems in place. And, you know, it takes so long to get those things. So I'm sort of a consultant advisor, you know, I'm going to just uh, immerse myself in football a little bit. And, uh, you know, if I have something to say, I'll say it. But, uh, you know, it's their show. They're running it. And uh, I'm here just to uh, to help in any way I can. When did Alan first reach out to you about this being a possibility? Well, I was changing a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> so that would have been, I think, I think it was early Sunday morning. Early Sunday morning. Yeah. What was your reaction, obviously, to the overall situation, Mark, with, with Mel being uh, suspended and the circumstances surrounding the program that, you know, was turned over to him? After you, know, you know, I can't comment on those things. Those things are internal, and uh, I can't comment on those. Let me ask you this. You've been through some crises here with Michigan State for various reasons. Allen took the podium, or Harlan took the podium the other day and said, Spartans will. We're strong, we'll recover. What's your belief in that from recovering from this crisis? Well, I think that uh, every day is a new day. And, uh, you know, to me, great challenges bring on great adversity, which provide great growth for people. And uh, so for Coach Barnett and, uh, and our football team, it's, it's, it's another lesson in life. And uh, um, as I said when I walked out of here, you know, there, there, is, there is nothing that, that – uh, can't be that won't be changed inevitably so change is inevitable for all of us and um, you know it's a tough situation and you've He's hired Harlan twice so you have great belief in him don't you oh yeah Harlan I, coach Barnett uh, he is a uh, he's always had great relationships with the players he's mm -hmm. always been a tremendous recruiter he's a very good football coach uh, and the players believe in him and he does things and I think he's he's about coaching and coaching is about bringing young people forward in a, in a positive way and leadership and things of that nature. And uh, he's, uh, he's very much about that. How much has your post-coaching journey of going back to these schools in the summer with Hart, with Gear and then with Pat and it was not, how much has that maybe kept you involved with football and how much, what, what did you kind of glean in those times? Yeah. Well, I, I, what I gleaned was when I got back in the car, I knew I was going home. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, it's always good to be around football, and I get my little football fixes and uh, and uh, spend some time with the people that uh, that have been a part of my life um, as I've coached. So, I've enjoyed doing that. I've done that every year since I've retired, and uh, you know, so I'll probably continue to do that. Will so you call yourself? Would you call yourself anxious for tomorrow? No, I'm very confident in terms of what the game plan is based on what I see. But like I said, you know, terminology and everything like that, you got to execute. And every plan is drawn up accordingly to be successful. But, to, you know, players make plays. Well, I guess the word I meant is excited. Are you excited yeah. about being back out there? Yeah, I am excited to be, about, to be back out there. But uh, in this role, it's, it's a different role. But uh, 
I'm really excited about the Rose Bowl reunion and seeing my guys. Mm -hmm. I saw, you know, Doc Quez, Denard, and um, Curtis Drummond yesterday. I saw Benny Fowler and Trey Waynes today. And I'm sure I'll see a lot of other ones uh, tonight or tomorrow. So I'm ex very excited about that and then uh, also about Javon. So this is a, you know, I didn't know I'd be here with coaching stuff on <laughs> tomorrow, but uh, it's an exciting day for everybody. Have, have with you your been, like, in the, on the whiteboard with Harlan and just – and like making suggestions and watching. No, I don't think that that's stuff? my place right now. I think my place is to, you know, sort of sit back and see what what's going on. But I have watched a lot of Washington film. I have watched practice film. I have been in defensive staff meetings. I have worked the twelve-hour days, <laughs> and uh, not the fourteen, but the twelve. And uh, um, so, you know, I'm just trying to immerse myself a little bit and trying to get. Um, uh, confident in, in terms of knowing the system a little bit, but uh, that takes time. Is that what about fun? the players, Mark? What was their reaction to you, especially guys you know, like a Noah Kim, somebody you recruited? Your yeah. guys, there's still a couple, quite a few guys around from from your time. Uh, all the players have been great. The ones that I recruited here were, you know, welcoming me back, obviously. But uh, all the players have been great, great energy, like I said, and uh, been very. Uh, I, I don't know. They, they welcome me back. You know, I'm just getting to know them. You know, I got a sheet in my office with pictures and names and numbers so I'm just trying to get to know everybody how much did your time around the program we've seen you you obviously the summer trips we've seen you on at games how much did that help you it, not in football but just knowing the guys you're working with on, on the staff and, and kind of developing a rapport with them yeah it's sort of it's unusual everybody's got a connection it seems like with with uh, with my past you know Courtney Hawkins I've known him for quite a while um, but I've gotten to know some of the other coaches and they have associations with other coaches that I know very well and uh, we're on staffs at whether it be Oklahoma or someplace else Joe Tiller or whoever but uh, um, so it's it's uh, everybody's been great I could you know since I've retired everybody here has treated me in a first class way every time I've been around here. I know that I know that uh, Bob Stoops said that he, he spoke with you the other day on your way yeah, Bob, in here. I yeah. mean, do you, have you talked to some of those guys that have done this before in some way, come back a little bit? Yeah, I did talk to Bobby about that a little bit. You know, but he was there for one month, you know, as a bull game coach. And I think that, uh, you know, his advice is very positive and uh, he's a great guy and a very good friend of mine. I just wanted to grab to sell your wife on this idea. She liked you being retired, didn't she? She told me to use my coach's voice. So <laughs> I think she did like me being retired, but she's. You know, we're Spartans. We've always been Spartans, and um, so we'll do what we got to do. Just, just sort of knowing there's an end date, you know, to it, that you won't have to work the 14s and all that, does that kind of help you, like, really dive into it? Like, hey, I can give it all I can for a certain, you know, a sort of a defined time versus an end date. Well, you don't, you don't get into coaching halfway in. You know, if you step back in this arena, you know, you're going to step back in and try and do the very best you can do and, and be, um, do something positive. So, but I think my role is different, certainly than it was. But uh, because you don't, you know, there's a lot of things you don't know. You don't know the history of what's gone on here in terms of schematically and things like that, football-wise. You don't know the players. You're trying to say, hey, that's so and so, and number so and so, and uh, you know those type of things. So, like I said, I'm four days. This is my fifth day working. What, what's is there an it? adrenaline jolt? I mean, when you yeah, there jump is, right in? there is. There was a little bit of a jolt period that first day, you know. Because it was such an unknown, but uh, you know, I've gotten used to it a little bit, and uh, um, it's been very positive. Like I said, I've been very impressed with the staff. We well, yeah, got time for a, one more. From that, just so as yeah. a point of clarity, Mark, do you intend this to be just the end after the end of the season? Go back into retirement? Or are you leaving this open ended if, in case something changes? We're <laughs> out of your. Seat? Hey, I've always said I'm looking forward to retirement, <laughs> so I'll leave it like that. But, right, uh, thanks, 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 Mark. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, guys. All right, Appreciate thank you, everybody. Well, uh, we're going to start with retirement. the Hall of Fame ceremony. <laughs> How are you doing the interviews with those inductees? So they're, we're going to have a podium, and they're going to just talk up.